Yo, Professor Algebra coming at you. Now, this it, we're solving equations. Uh, this is with variables on both sides of the equation. Now, Miss Professor Algebra has a way of doing it. All right. So I normally start with a variable and I try to keep the variable positive. Now, there are some times where I won't, but on this particular situation, I'm going to show you what I do. So the first thing I need to do is say, okay, what do I have? I have 3x on this side and 4x on this side. So I'm going to subtract. 3x from both sides. Okay. Now, please be careful. This creates a zero pair. When you bring down the 8, please don't forget the negative sign. Okay. So now 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 times x is x. And I'm left with this problem. Now, in a previous video, we talked about undoing subtraction with addition. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. Now, my answer, we can switch this around by using the symmetric property in x equals 3. Now, this is a simple one, so I'm going to show you a little bit more complicated one, all right? Now, here's what I'd like for you to do. Hopefully, you know a little bit. Now, here's a, t uh, here's a little quick tip. Distributive property first. I want you to pause the video after you do the distributive property. All right, and we'll come back and we'll we'll see if you can solve it, okay? Okay, we're back. So first thing we're going to do, now, Professor Algebra doesn't need these arrows, but this is a reminder to you, and I have kids in my class all the time that forget to distribute this 4 through the parentheses. That's the number one problem I have when kid goes, hey, Professor Algebra, I don't know what to do. I don't know where I got went wrong. I said, well, you didn't distribute the 4 through. So this is going to be 4x minus 8 equals 6x plus 10. Now I want to go off road and I'm going to show you the other way to do it where I'm going to move the 6 over here by subtracting. I don't normally do that, but I will. So, and if you notice, I never work with the numbers. I do those last. So remember, zero pair is here. 4x minus 6x is negative 2x minus 8 equals positive 10. Next step, is we're going to add 8 to both sides. And that gives me negative 2x equals 18. Now, last but not least, we're connected by... Now listen, we're not connected by subtraction, we're connected by multiplication. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 2 and x equals negative 9. All right? One more and then we'll be done. Okay? So... Give that one a go, okay? Pause the video, give you a chance to work it. Remember, we do distributive property first, okay? Okay, had a chance to do it, so we're gonna do this first. This is 4x plus 8. We're gonna do this. This is gonna be 5x minus 60, okay? Professor Algebra can do math in his head very quickly. You need to learn that too. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. Now, since that goes that way, watch what I'm fixing to do. I'm going to do this all on this line. I'm going to add 60, all right? Okay, so 8 plus 60 is 68. 5 minus 4 is 1, so x equals 68. No matter where you go, math is there. Later, dudes. Algebros, if you like what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Later.